So I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight ever since I got it back in February, and I've been totally obsessed with this game. Um, and I thought I'd make a short video just talking about some of the stuff I wish I knew when I first started playing. Starting with number one is expect, don't expect to win all the time is what I should say, or rather expect to lose a lot. Now this game just had its five year anniversary. It's old as shit. You're gonna run into a lot of people that have hundreds, if not thousands of hours of playtime. So they're gonna know all the maps. They're gonna know all the killers, the perks you use, the tricks that survivors and killers do. So you're gonna get outplayed eventually at some point, even though when you first start, you know, it's probably gonna feel really easy. You're gonna get confident and you're gonna think, wow, this, this is not so bad until you hit a wall, so to speak. And even the players that have these thousands of play time, th thousands of hours of play time, you know, even they lose. Uh, just not as much as someone who just started, of course, but don't expect to win all the time and try to learn from your mistakes when you do lose. Which leads us to our second point is rank doesn't matter as much as you think. Yes, there is going to be a difference from high ranking players to lower ranking players, of course. But with that being said, there is so much you can do to influence whether you win a match or not. But one of the things you also can exploit is the fact that let's say you're, you know, a red rank, you're rank four or whatever, and then you want to play with a friend that just got the game. So they start off at the lowest rank 20. You guys could party together and you'll play against a, a killer that's going to be more towards your friend's rank. And you're gonna have a really really easy time getting to rank you know the high ranks because you're essentially boosting yourself right so with that in mind uh you're still gonna have people that are you know quote unquote high rank but they don't play like they are um so don't take rank so seriously it's something that can be easily gained if you really wanted to what i'm trying to the point i'm trying to make is just don't really read into ranks as much like just focus on improving as a player just analyze your mistakes or you know whatever and move on don't your rank will come as you as you play and improve over time number three you don't have to buy all the dlc this is something that turned me off from buying dead by daylight previously because i would see it on sale and i was like oh cool this is a game i was interested and then you see this like huge list of dlc and like in total even when it is on sale the total would come out to like a hundred something dollars just to buy all the dlc and that turned me off because i hate buying games and not being able to get like all the dlc or whatever fortunately you don't have to buy all of them you can actually buy dlc characters which is what you're essentially buying in these in these dlc packs is just the characters the killers and the survivors um, i also thought you were buying access to maps which is not the case you can go to the maps they're free um but yeah you can buy certain killers and survivors with an in-game currency uh, that you gain just from playing the game just you get your player level up and you get this currency and then you can use it to buy survivors and killers so the only killers and survivors that you can't buy are the ones that are licensed so you know freddy uh leatherface the demogorgon on the killer side for example pyramid head and on the survivor side you know people like cheryl detective tap uh nancy and steve from stranger things like licensed killers killers and survivors you have to pay for unfortunately but at least that saves you a lot of money from having to buy everything um unless you're really lazy to grind it out it does take a while uh it's not like you can grind a, char a new character in one day of playing it's gonna take a while but hey it's better than actually having to spend real money right um you can also use the in-game currency to buy skins if you wanted to Moving on to number four, uh, just like any game ever, I mean, if you've played CSGO, if you've played League um, or any, you know, games with a lot of depth and stuff, then you're going to find out that Dead by Daylight is no different in terms of terminology. There's a lot of things that are 
said that are gonna sound like a foreign language to you if you're playing with your friends. If you watch streamers, they're also gonna talk in sentences that don't make sense to you at first. Um, and that, that obviously can be fixed by either a quick Google search or just, you know, uh, like playing the game more and you'll, you'll understand what some of the stuff stands for. But it's important to actually learn this terminology, of course, um, while you're playing, but also when it comes to perks. Because when it comes to perks, they do a lot of things that there are over like 20 something status effects in this video in this game so so learning a little bit of what they all do will help you in the long run to understand what's going on in the game um and again quick google search or just playing the game more often and you'll start to learn and understand um all these little term terminology stuff uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description that shows some of the basic terminology you'll run into when playing Dead by Daylight. It's not hard though. Uh, number five, just like any competitive game, you're going to run into some toxicity. But in my opinion, if you've played games like Valorant, Overwatch, Dota 2, CSGO, any of that stuff, Rainbow Six Siege, where you can voice chat with your teammates, then Dead by Daylight is not going to be as bad, in my opinion, because you can't voice chat to your teammates. There is no voice chat in the game. Um, there's only pre-game lobby chat and post-game lobby chat. In the pre-game, you can just, only the survivors can talk to each other. In the post-game, you can talk to the killer, and usually, it's, you'll you know you'll run into some salty either killers or survivors. It's gonna happen, but it's e easily you can just block you can block the chat you can remove it so you don't even see it post game and there you go there's most of the toxicity gone if players decide to take it to the next level by either commenting on your steam profile on pc or they send you a dm on you know xbox live or psn whatever i'm sure y'all know the settings to to block that sort of stuff if it's something you don't want to deal with in the future if you start playing this game but it's really not as bad. In game though, there can be some toxic uh, behavior, like teabagging. But for me, since I've been playing video games for like a bajillion years, teabagging is something that's been around since forever, and it doesn't really bother me as much. Um, but that being said, the game can take a toll on you if you're doing really bad for like multiple games. Don't forget to take a break. All that good stuff walk away from the game if you need to for a bit and then come back and try to be try to try to improve basically so those are the five things i wish i knew when i first started playing game is great i still play it a lot i have a lot of fun with it um there's still days where i get frustrated but there's also a lot of days where i also have fun so you win some you lose some and with that being said, I'll leave you guys one bonus tip, especially if you're new to Dead by Daylight, is if you want to be better at the role you, you like to play. So for example, if you like to play killer and you want to be a better killer, the best way that I've learned other than, you know, like YouTubing or Googling guides, um, is to play the opposite role. This might not make sense at first, but I learned how to be a better survivor by playing as killer. Because as a killer, watch what the good survivors are doing. What What's the reason that you're not able to catch these certain survivors that are giving you trouble? Are they looping you around the map really well? Are you, like the way they use pallets, are they like really good at evading your you know like losing you're losing sight of them all the time like what are they doing that's making it so hard like i would just watch what they were doing and kind of copy it into my own gameplay when i played survivor and the same goes the other way if you want to be a better killer play survivor and don't copy the killers that do really shitty strats like tunneling and camping that don't copy that that's bad but once you get to a certain rank as a survivor and you start seeing these really, really good killers that don't do any cheap tricks and are able to get your whole team, watch what they're doing. Seriously, just watch how they play. Watch what they're doing. Watch their play style. Look at their perks. Look at their add-ons. See what they brought. See if it see if it gave them a huge advantage in the game. Um, 
and you'll be better for it. That's what I do a lot whenever I'm playing this game is usually I learn just from watching other players. So that's helped me a lot. Hope this video was interesting for you guys to watch. If you guys have any tips of your own for things you wish you knew when you first started playing Dead by Daylight, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.